You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 36 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about what was unfortunately a relatively underwhelming episode or week of WWE programming. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, we could just go back to the old theme of for all bad, SmackDown good, but SmackDown wasn't even no. that good. I mean... I, they... And and the, I don't think the crowd was really into that match nearly as much as they kind of leaned on I it. Mean, to be fair, it's kind of hard to it have somebody interested way for too an long. hour long yeah, match way too that's long. just gonna have very few ups. And to be fair, the swerve helped Maybe I... because the way they set this up, there's like okay, there's no way Kofi's gonna lose. Mm. So it's like all right. So right, right, right. But they did such a bad job of making it interesting. Yeah, because him, his, him and Sheamus went like ten, For, yeah, fifteen minutes. Like they're going forever. I was yeah. like, oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna be a long so, night. Like, I guess it's nice because they're making Kofi look super strong by being able to like mm. overcome all of it. But at the end of the day, it's like that's not interesting TV. No. Literally and, nothing happened on SmackDown except for this match. No, and, and I think that's the problem and the disconnect is, I mean, how can you get a casual viewer to continue to tune in for a match like that? Yeah, especially because if you're not watching on a regular basis, you don't know what the hell's going on. No, and I let's, would... Let's, oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, let's say for argument's sake, the last time you watched WWE was two years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, it could be as simple as all of a sudden you were a big fan of Kofi back in the day. You mm-hmm. kind of keep up with it you know casually and all of a sudden you hear that you know he may win the title at wrestlemania and you're like oh you know what let me check that out and then you tune in and you're like yeah no i'm gonna go on youtube and watch the highlights yeah because this match was just kofi getting the crap kicked out of him the whole time for the most part um so i guess we could probably talk about raw first actually you know what before we get into that okay i have a story for you Go on. So, do you remember last week after we recorded, uh-huh. we were talking about Vinny's bachelor party? Yes. Well, I had brought it up to Julian the next night, uh-huh. and I was really... I didn't know how to go about it. Why? Because, well, I'll let you guys in on the joke. We were going to bring him to the Joey Ryan's penis party during WrestleMania weekend. And you know Julian. He hates everything. Yeah, I was going to say that's fair. So, how do I bring this up without it sounding very, very terrible? You can't. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, hmm. It's like ripping a Band-Aid off. Well, I guess do so. Because I was like, hmm, do I... Because originally we were talking about going to WrestleMania. And yeah, that's like, a little too much. No, no. I'm not sitting out there for 10 plus hours, uh, probably. Honestly, it, if I know it would, wouldn't have been such so expensive, I probably would have been right. okay with it. Right, right. But, but yeah, so I was like, hmm. Now I have to explain who Joey Ryan is and why he has an event called the Penis Party. I guess. Yeah, it didn't go over too well. Of course not. <laughs> well, at least now I know that you did that, so I can ask Julian if he's doing it. Yeah. So that's yeah, good. It, it, was, it was definitely interesting, and uh, I think he uh, views wrestling even lower than he originally That's fine. It, it doesn't matter. Oh, boy. It Th- does not matter one bit. Which is funny, because when we went out with them on Saturday night, uh-huh. Vinny doesn't watch wrestling much anymore. Of course not. Nope. He's not, not allowed to. Here we go. It <laughs> happens. Yep. So. All right. I guess we should talk about Raw. Yeah, I guess. It was boring. Yeah, it was. I fell asleep. There you go. I uh I, it was during one of the matches. I think it was actually I think it was when uh Sasha and Natalia started their match and I woke up when Nia came out. I know it was a long match to begin with, but I still fell asleep. Yeah. I mean, we really don't need to go through all of this because there was just so much crap that was completely inconsequential yeah the Um, biggest thing um would probably be kurt angle announcing his wrestlemania opponent yeah which which appears to be a misdirect anyway yeah it sure as hell should be i mean i don't know if this is going to be a swerve or not but i don't know why they just go about things the way they do yeah there's like okay let's take the thing that's least likely to draw a good reaction and do it right they just seem (laughs) to know how to piss off their fans because they have him announce he wants to face corbin and then have him in a with a match against the person who he should face at wrestlemania his real son yes his real son they look exactly alike except for gable (laughs) has hair 
That's literally the only thing where if you put the two next to each other, that's different. I mean, yeah, but I guess hindsight's twenty twenty, and in the fact that it could have come full circle this way, because Why? nobody expected Jason Jordan to be hurt. I guess, but yeah. what do you mean full circle? Well, they could have had him end up facing Jason Jordan for his retirement match, but had they named Chad Gable uh, his son instead, well, they which could is have what had... they should have right. done to begin oh, yeah, yeah. with. No, so. absolutely. But had they done that, they could yeah. have just had it happen here, That's true. or not here at WrestleMania. Because... Yeah, but yeah, it was dumb. Yeah, um, I'm thoroughly uninterested and kind of actually annoyed about what they're doing with Ronda Rousey now. Well, they're trying to give her heat, but she doesn't need it because they're going to boo her anyway because she's not Becky. Yeah. So who cares? Why I, make her I, bad? I mean, to be fair, it seems like that whole thing has lost steam with uh, Kofi. Um, like as far as fan reaction, I mean, she's Becky still gets a, a good reaction, but I don't feel like it was to the point that it used to be. No, but, but then it, again, that's that's that been going on two for months, months now. Between yeah. Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, and they, I guess they thought they were going to build it back up when she was going to get into, back into the match at WrestleMania. Yeah, and then... I don't really have a problem with what they're doing with her, though. No, but it doesn't seem like it could main event at this point. Why not? I don't know. I Nobody wants to see Brock Lesnar retain the oh, Universal no, title. Oh, no, I know, which is probably going to happen, but... Uh, I, I, think, I think if that match happens... Before the main event, mm -hmm. he's going to retain. I think if it is the main event, Rollins will win. Yeah, that's that's true. I think that that's actually the decision. Yeah, between the two, because all they're gonna do is just say what they'll do is going in that this is the co-main event. Right. Like they well, did. they're gonna do that regardless. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying because they can still say that if mm. it doesn't go on last. Okay. So, like they did when they opened Backlash, the first one. With the triple threat between Cena, AJ, because mm. it was going up against the debate. Right, right. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they said they're op they're doing a double header, something like uh, that. Yeah, main yeah, event or yeah, whatever. Yeah, when they yeah right, they'd open the show. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, um, anyway, it 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 definitely could. I think it is dependent on what they do with her universal. I guess so. Yeah, though. and they're not gonna have that solidified until probably that day. that day. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I I don't like them just. A, trying to make Ronda seem bad because she beats up referees. It, it just doesn't make sense. There's no point to it. And I don't. I still don't like it. I brought it up last week, the fact that they're just steamrolling the lower card for no reason. Well, I mean. I don't know. I, I, like, I've always said that I, Dana Brooke has a lot of things going for her. Yeah. Except for the push part. Right. Um, like you know, she's not to make her look bad. Yeah. yeah. Cause there's no, there's no benefit because the whole point of wrestling is to, to have people look good and then like bounce back and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Um, and Rhonda just looks stupid because she's angry for no reason. Yeah. And now that her making, husband was there. Yeah. Making everybody else. look bad. I don't get it, but kind of looks like Ed. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the, the dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, more hair. He does. Well, That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I meant I meant on his face, not oh, on his yeah, head. Yeah. Obviously, there's more hair on his face on his head. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. Yeah. Um. And the, yeah. Yeah. It's... And now he's banned from Raw. I think they said. <sighs> so yeah. Dumb. Um. We got. Elias is going to be playing, or he's going. What did, he's what going to be say? a musical act at yes. WrestleMania. The, he said it with the he headline musical oh, yeah, that's act. That's right, right. So I would assume he will just get interrupted by like The Rock or Bray Wyatt or something like um, that. Um, he'll be interrupted. I I think The Rock is kind of a bold guess at this yeah, point, but you never know. Um, but yeah, he will be interrupted. Yep. He was interrupted on Raw, and it was fantastic because Alexa Bliss, I guess, had choreographed the interruption, mm -hmm. but, but it was supposed to be after he was done. Right. And they had heavy machinery come out and everything. And yeah, which, I mean, you know, they're on TV. I guess yeah. that's the main thing for someone they're not going to utilize. Yeah. It's so funny because at the at the end of last year, the six, heavy machinery, Lacey Evans, um, Lars Sullivan, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross, and EC3, they were all supposed to be the new NXT right. call-ups. None of them are on TV. Not really? Um, doing anything. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you have Ricochet, who's on, been on literally every show except for SmackDown this week mm -hmm. for the last month. 
had there not been the gauntlet, he would have been there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he was there. He was backstage with uh, looking on. Had a featured segment. Gotcha. Yes. So it's just so funny. <clears throat> but whatever. Yeah. This is what it is. Um, so it looks like we're going to have a multi-woman tag match for the uh, women's tag titles at Mania. What makes you say that? Well, let's see. Nia and Tamina came out. Well, they, yeah, they did. Uh, but we don't know for sure that they're going to have a On ultimate. SmackDown, the Iconics got a victory over Sasha oh, and Oh, so, so you think that it's going to be a fatal four-way? Yes. I guess that would make sense. And that match was terrible. Well, last night? Yes. Well, what do you expect? I'm... Yeah, I guess. The Iconics, they're not, they're not meant to be good wrestlers. No, I know, but I feel like, I don't know, at least Peyton has taken a step back since being showcased just in the tag matches. Maybe. I don't know. Because I thought she was very good in NXT. Seemed um, like she was going to be a standout person, mm, and then... I disagree. Sorry Obviously enough. better than Pey- uh, than Billy Kay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I don't really think that she was going to be much of All right. anything. But yeah, no, it was just a sloppy mess. Yeah. Not good. Um, but yeah, it... it to clarify, we didn't name Beth and Natalia are the uh, other two. Yeah, yeah. When we saw that, what, last week they showed up? Was yes, because... Uh, they... That was after the beatdown of, at Fastlane? Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, because Beth kind of got in Nia's face, mm-hmm. and then that whole thing happened. So, yeah, it's good. I mean... I like the idea. It's fine, but this is a brand new thing. Mm-hmm. The women's tag division should be something that's built. Why do we need to bring a retired star back to... I have a match. Well, A, because they don't have anybody. anybody. (laughs) And B, it kind of makes sense because it gives Natalia something to do. Yeah, I guess so. And I can... I'm going to assume they're not going to have that women's battle royal again. I think they still are. Oh, okay, because, like... A lot of people aren't going to be in it. Well, that's true. So, unless it's going to be mostly NXT. Probably. That's the only thing I can think Um, of. I guess they have NXT UK as well, so... Yeah. Well, they're definitely doing the Andre the Giant. They always yeah. do, though. Well, yeah, but Braun was named in it. Yeah, Braun said he was going to be in it. I feel like somebody else did, too, but um, I don't remember. That I don't know. All I know is Braun for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there were, it was announced that there was going to be um, Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush versus Finn Balor and a mystery partner. Mm. And even before I watched Ross's show, I knew that Braun Strowman was going to be his Finn's tag team partner because of what Michael Cole said. Yeah, before. it was going to be going a to commercial break. rish or something like that. Yeah, man, they they just, they they can't help themselves really. Well, yeah, no. Plus, obviously, it was going to be Braun because Finn has only had one partner in the last. Well, it's just um, Ricochet, right? Yeah, but that was that was different. Well, that's when they tagged against Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush. I know, but that was them trying to shoehorn Ricochet. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Finn has actively like it participated with mm-hmm. Braun in the past, so it kind of makes sense. Fair enough. But and, yeah, and the whole thing that came out of this was Braun is going to be in the uh, Andre the Giant battle royal, and he's gonna kick um, the SNL guys' asses. Mm. That's about it. If they disrespect him again. I mean, they should just have him eliminate every single person in the Battle Royal. I mean, That's fine. He, he's, I just can't believe that it's gotten to this point. Mm-hmm. That he's, like, above everybody, but not... Well, yeah, because, I mean, it, <laughs> it's not like any fault has really been on him. No. It's just been the creative. Yeah. And, and they, just... like, tease... The the biggest problem the, the WWE has... In terms, not necessarily in terms of their booking or mm. their writing. It's the fact that the crazy old man loves Brock Lesnar too much. Well. That has a lot to do with it. Because, obviously, he's had the championship 90% of the time it's right. been, like, a thing now. Pretty that's, damn close. That's pretty fair, yeah. Um, so, why? He, like, he like kills all all pushes because we thought okay Samoa Joe might have a shot (laughs) I know now it's a joke but look at us now we did we did think that there was a possibility they booked it as such yeah um Braun got flattened and then they had that triple threat match at the Rumble that was a joke um it just doesn't make any sense it's not good for business well or not good for the the rest of the industry not industry but the rest of the company 
Yeah, I mean, it definitely hinders people. Yeah. And there's... Yeah. There's one show where you can actually be champion on. It's not, Pretty much, it's not yeah. the good. It's not yeah, a good thing yeah, to yeah. do. And, I mean, that was, you know, the, the big dream of people is to be WWE champion. Yeah, I guess, but still. Yeah. Well, now people are just happy to be there. Yeah, I guess at this point, yeah. <laughs> like Ricochet. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought the opening segment was decent with Heyman and Lesnar. Yeah. Um, it kind of, it was more of Heyman's rebuttal to Rollins' mm. point that saying, oh, people are, uh, fast people have uh, Brock Lesnar's number. Right. But. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Um, then Drew McIntyre came out. Seth came out and attacked him with a chair. Yeah. Which, did you see the video? I did see the video of the cameraman. <laughs> How fantastic. He, he oh, was. They had it yeah. on his thing. Yeah, well, yeah. that and there was just uh, other footage of it. But he uh, he was really into it. This was very funny. <laughs> um, oh, man. But yeah, then we had. Uh, a whole lot. It was an interview with Batista, or Michael Cole interviewed Batista. Right. And basically, Batista just says he hates Triple H because he used him to become the champion mm-hmm. or whatever the hell he said. Well, I mean, the biggest takeaway from this was when uh, Michael Cole said that Triple H has always been fair to him. Yeah. <laughs> and online, you just see everybody posting all the terrible things that Triple H did to Michael Cole. Yeah. Michael Cole continuity. used to be a uh, pretty big punching bag. Oh, yeah. Um, and it. then the main event was Seth versus Drew. A match we've never seen before. I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drew did tra- uh, challenge Roman at, for a match at WrestleMania. He did, which I think that would be good. Yeah, and I think we kind of figured that was coming yeah, anyway. Yeah, it, it made sense. I mean... They're building Drew to be a monstrous heel. Um, but he's and, not going to win. <laughs> no, I, I think he should. I think he should, too. Yeah, because but... Roman has, you know... Uh, mm. Now, when you think about it, what Roman has done at WrestleMania in the past, maybe you shouldn't have He's Drew beat him. Lost a couple times Who? recently. Roman? Roman yeah. Well, lost last lost year. to Lesnar. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, he beat Triple H. He yeah. beat... Uh... He got pinned at WrestleMania 31, yeah. but that was the cash-in. That's right. That he probably wasn't going to win anyway. No. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I guess with, with the way... I, it would make sense for... For Drew to win, except right. for the fact that Roman has kind of, you know, been proven to be, like, superstar, like, elite mm-hmm. at WrestleMania. Yeah. Beating The Undertaker, beating Triple well, H. Well, I mean, I mean that could just set up your whole, if Seth does take the title off of him, mm-hmm. then you set up Roman versus Seth. If Roman wins against Drew? Drew yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It would, it, it, all Sorry, logic honestly, would say. Honestly, I don't want to see a Drew versus Seth feud. No, not at this point. No, we've seen the match happen at least a handful Broad of times. Braun versus Drew would be all right. Yeah, we still never got that, no, right? No, we didn't. They, they built up to it, and no, then well, they never did anything with kind it. Kind of. It was more Braun versus that, because they were together, and then they, the War Dogs, I think they called right, themselves. Yes, yes, yes. And then they split up. But nothing came of that because no. the shield was back. Right, right, right. So, so I got pushed to the back. Right uh-huh. and then. So, uh, but yeah. Um, Seth ends up losing in the main event yeah. because Lesnar comes out and distracts him. That he did. Um, and then Drew hits Claymore, and that was it. That was it. Yeah. Um, SmackDown. Killing stuff. Very little happened. Yeah. Uh, uh, we already talked about the Iconics beating Sasha and Bailey. Yeah. Uh, the Miz comes out, mm-hmm. and like what happened the week before, it was just him because Shane was the only one who came out the week right, before. Right. Um, and then he said that uh, he's going to beat Shane at WrestleMania. That's about it. Um, I know had, you're looking forward to that match. I'm still upset because <laughs> The Miz has such potential. So when do you think Shane's going to uh, officially hang up the boots? A <laughs> uh, couple decades. <laughs> Would you be surprised? I didn't expect he, him to be. He this doesn't involved. have. He doesn't have anything left in the tank, but he's still himself. I guess that's true. Um, but yeah, I I really hope the Miz wins. Shane hasn't won any of his matches. I don't. No, think. no, no, no. No, because no. he lost to AJ. He right. lost to Undertaker, Undertaker. He lost to no. He won last yeah, year. That was the tag match. But that doesn't really count because Daniel Bryan came that back. That was the whole big story. Um. So. What was was that it? 
30... yeah, he had the feud with Owens, but that was the Hell in a Cell. Yeah, 32, 33, 34, and this is 35. That yeah, makes sense? I think so. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, yeah, but yeah, the Waste and Miss. It's not cool. I don't like it. Yeah. Maybe next year. Miz versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. There you go. Um, we got the KO show. Well, it's fun. I mean, you could... Poss- yeah. If, you know, depending on what they do with Mania, you could build that back into... SummerSlam. I want it to happen at WrestleMania. Oh my God. It doesn't matter. It would have been so cool. I predicted it. <laughs> well, exactly predict how it they all. No, I, it was damn close because everything's set up except for Shane McMahon ruining everything. We've talked about this before. <laughs> sweaty bastard. Yeah. Ruins anyway, everything. KO show. Mm-hmm. New graphics. Yep. Fancy stuff. KO is wearing a tie. Mm-hmm. It was choking him. Yeah. It was very funny. <laughs> um, so he's sitting at his table. Calls out Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Um, I mean, the highlight of this was Kevin Owens was like, everybody's done listening to you two talk. Just fight. Yeah, so it was nice because they were... Because normally the heel talk show host Mm -hmm. tries to incite a fight, but like kind of being subtle about it, he flat out said, go ahead, Mm -hmm. have at it. So they do. Um, And, you know, that was it. They fought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, they also hit some referees and security oh, guards. Oh, right, right, right. So they it's trying to make out. them yeah. match Ronda. <sighs> so it's <sighs> like, okay, we, we sh- one of them did it, so they all yeah. have to do mm-hmm. it. When you could just easily not have any of them do it, and it's easier. There you go. And everything's good. Yeah. Everyone's happy about everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, AJ Styles gets interviewed. Mm-hmm. Um, he says that he's rooting for Kofi. Yep. Which is kind of like the theme of the episode, all the good guys rooting for Kofi. Um, mm-hmm. And then he said he's ready for Randy Orton. Yep. That's um, it. And then Daniel Bryan comes out, says that Kofi never earned his opportunity. B-plus player. He was given a shot um, just because uh, Mustafa Ali wasn't around because mm-hmm. he got hurt. That's true. Um, and happen. that was about it. Yep. Yeah, it's funny. Daniel Bryan comes out with Rowan. And then they go into the back, and they have the yeah. bar come out first for the gauntlet mm-hmm. match. Uh, yeah, Sheamus was first. He gets hit with the trouble in paradise. Yeah, he was in control for the most part. Oh, yeah, no, this, this whole thing was Kofi getting yeah, yeah, his yeah. ass kicked. Yeah. There was nothing Cesaro else. Cesaro did get involved. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, and then Cesaro goes. Mm-hmm. Then Rowan finally comes out. Yeah. Again. And he ended up getting himself disqualified. Yeah, hit him with the chair. Yeah. Which was kind of dumb. They should have had him stay out first and do that. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Um, and then it was Joe. Yep. And then it Which, was Orton. I don't know. I feel like they could have used somebody else besides Joe. Well, yeah, because he's you the know US a champion. champion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're just belittling your champion. The problem the is they but don't have Joe anybody. at the same time. They could have. So. They could have picked Shelton Benjamin. Could've. That would have worked. Is he is he on Raw now? No. <laughs> that. <laughs> It's become clearer and clearer that it doesn't matter where. That would make sense, too. It's become clearer and clearer. It really doesn't matter what show you're on. Um, Plus, it wasn't even like Shelton Benjamin came out and attacked Seth Rollins the night before. It was a week before. Yeah, that's true. I guess guess everything goes out the window at this point. Yeah. Um, Eventually, Kofi does defeat randy orton mm-hmm. um and then vince comes out he's like congratulations kofi but you need to face one more person should and have said you have to face two more people and then make him be xavier woods and biggie that would have been so cool nobody can lay down that would have been cool um but no it was daniel bryan <laughs> yep the wwe champion oh yeah um kofi hits a trouble in paradise yep, i think so um, and it looks like he lands on his head in the process yeah that didn't look uh yeah very pretty um, i watch him get hurt here yeah and uh ruin it all so he gets a near fall unsuccessful daniel bryan eventually hits the running knee he wins smackdown's over yep um, right down to the uh there's was like a minute left something like that right so the wire <laughs> it, it's hard to say that they're building up something did you, when they're deflating you in the process right. the whole time did you see uh biggie and xavier had post videos online basically you know wanting to leave the wwe because of how unsatisfied they were and everything like that with what had ha- took place yeah you know, it was all i didn't work stuff yeah i was gonna say it's definitely all yeah, words. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good though yeah yeah but that 
it they're not doing a good job like getting people behind him because of they're already behind him. Yeah, I, I realize that. And yeah, there's there's only so much you can do because it it's not hard to get the heat on McMahon. No, no, it's no, not. No. All you need you did have him. This story this could have taken. This didn't need to happen. No, period. obviously it yeah. didn't need to happen. You could have had had what they did with Fastlane and then nothing. Right. Until the night before. Mm-hmm. And then have him win this match. Yeah. Like the Tuesday before WrestleMania. Right. And that's a complete story. Yeah. And then if you you don't even need to have him win at WrestleMania. Just have the match. Yeah. I mean complete story. It would be nice if you won. But it'd be a complete story if nothing happened between Fastlane and tonight. And that would be the thing, you know, if they don't have him win, it'd be like, oh, same old WWE. That's true. Yeah, it's definitely Gets true. The fans off even more. Uh huh. So I, I I don't know what the hell they're gonna do because this to? this was a big obstacle. There's two weeks left. Two I weeks, think. Yeah. I think two Smackdowns. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, they have him go through this big test, and then he gets denied. Well, what what are they gonna do now? They're just not going to have him in the match. There's really nothing. The only thing I can think of. I thought they were going to bring out Kevin Owens, honestly. That would have been fine, too. That would have been better. Yeah. Because I don't really like the fact that they have Daniel Bryan come out to enforce. Because that's not the kind of champion he is. It's true. Because Daniel Bryan, like the new Daniel Bryan, is a cowardly heel. You don't come out and. Like, yeah, Kofi had already been in five matches, right. technically. But still. Um. But yeah, Kevin Owens would have been better. Um, yeah. I, don't, I got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you could have at least made it that triple threat that we thought we were getting at Fastlane at yeah. WrestleMania. That too. That you know? too. Mm-hmm. That I mean, would have made it's sense. still possible that that's what they do. Probably. I, I, I don't really see them doing anything with just Kofi that makes sense mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Because they kind of deflated the whole thing. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see what they're gonna do. And yeah. Hopefully, they don't screw it up. But they will. If history has shown us anything, they will. They will. Oh. Well. Um. Yeah. I mean that that was really it for this week. Yeah. There's not much going on. No. Um. Yeah. I mean, we saw Jinder Mahal on Raw. We did, but he lost to Ricochet. <laughs> yep. Um, oh. Um. I don't. You. Oh, I know the answer. You didn't watch Two Hundred Five Live. Neither did I. But mm-hmm. Tony Nese will be facing Buddy Murphy at WrestleMania. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I liked I prefer Drew Gulak, but Tony Nese is yeah. good too. I, I think that'll be a good match mm-hmm. on the kickoff show. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely <laughs> screams kickoff show. Yeah, I think they said it's gonna be like seventeen matches or something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be a long show. And I think our biggest complaint about the Royal Rumble was there was still so much filler, right? Yeah. It was not a complete like like seamless yeah. transaction between transition between yeah. everything and I, I think that's my biggest fear with you know you having the matches of seth rollins getting the upset becky and kofi you know i feel like they're not all gonna win no no i know yeah there's no way all of them are gonna win it's just gonna be i don't i think becky's a lock and there's a very good chance Brock holds on to that title i think so and kofi might win because there's been talk of them wanting to put brock on smackdown yeah but he'll just bring the universe title yeah, over yeah, and put yeah. the WWE title on Raw. That would be my guess. That would that would probably make more sense. It would. It definitely would. Yeah. Um. But whatever. Yeah, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. So that's pretty much all we can say. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, that was uh, that was pretty much it. So uh, yeah. If you like <laughs> what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.